Now, in the previous lecture, you learned about cues and hints. And as an example there, I asked ChatGPT to summarize a quite long article. And here this worked without issues and in my experience it often works without issues. But sometimes when passing long pieces of content to ChatGPT, which then in the end are mixed with your own instructions that refer to that content, ChatGPT can have problems differentiating the content on which it should work from your other instructions. And in such cases, to repeat that example from before, you could also separate the main content on which ChatGPT should work from your other instructions by wrapping it with three double quotes, for example. So with an identifier like this, which does not typically occur in either your instructions or the content. So I add such a separator, the three quotes. You could also try three dashes, for example, but here I'll use the three quotes. And I'll also add three quotes here at the end of this article before my other instructions start again. So that this hopefully helps ChatGPT find out which part of the prompt are my instructions and which part of the prompt is the article. Though of course it's always important to keep in mind that ChatGPT of course can't think. Instead the idea with separators like this here simply is to kind of get ChatGPT to complete the sequence you're giving to it correctly. And adding such separators simply is a trick that sometimes produced better results than if you used the same prompt without such a separator. So here if I send this to ChatGPT, it goes ahead and gives me those key takeaways again. And here adding these separators doesn't really make a difference, but nonetheless it's also a concept and a trick you should be aware of. And now you do know about it.